the gods summoned us from the old world, calling us to paradise, the undying land. They promised life eternal. The divine ancients shared their wisdom, directing us to build great temples to house their wonders. The works of my people shone like a jewel in this new world. But madness erupted throughout the land, igniting a terrible war. Our great works were laid to waste. When the fires cooled, the ancients had vanished, leaving behind only ruins and a doomed race of immortal soldiers guarding empty temples. But we were determined to endure. In the absence of the ancients, we became the masters of our own destiny. We battled the primordial beings birthed by the cataclysm and discovered immortality became a curse. Death had not been banished, only transformed. Even the madness returned to plague us anew. In the end, the ancients' promises had been nothing but lies. I pray they've not blinded us to the terror stirring beneath the sands. We set out to find the Field of Reeds, the blessed home of the gods. Carrying our dying queen, our only hope lay in finding the gift of immortality. We expected to discover divine power, a paradise blessed by the Nine. But we found only ruins and devastation, the obvious result of divine wrath. Having failed our queen, her body was consigned to the desert. But we would not be defeated. Allied with the might of Rome, we would succeed where our ancestors had failed. Like mighty Perseus or Achilles, General Crassus became our greatest champion. Together, our works inspired the people and brought order to the chaos. We would honor the gods and bring about an age of enlightenment. But greed and ambition poisoned the minds of our stewards. The Romans coveted the power of the gods, and our protectors became our oppressors. The gods punished them for their arrogance. The curse of Medusa would imprison the unfaithful for centuries. The faithful would have to prove ourselves worthy before the gods would return. But the plague of evil can never be vanquished, and it corrupts everything it touches. Now, we pray that the gods will send new champions to vanquish the darkness and find light in the shadows of our past. Apophis is returned to the sands, and Sutek remains at rest. But the hunt has only just begun. This hunt will be my greatest yet. The wretched mass of humanity, my ultimate prey. When we first appeared before them, humans were eager to learn, hungry for guidance. We approached them in forms that were familiar, and showered them with blessings. But they lacked the purity shared by other creatures of these lands. I warned my brethren, these beings were not worthy of eternal life. But the gift was bestowed nonetheless. And what thanks did we receive? The fools turned against us. I knew then, Annihilation of the species was our only option. But greater threats emerged, requiring our attention. Years passed, 
We try to live here in peace and harmony. But the twisted ambitions of humanity have reinvited disaster time and again. Now, however, the power of the Aeneid flows through the veins of Eternum, fuel for my grim task. I will undo the mistake my brethren made so long ago. I will revoke the gift and restore your mortal birthright to a final and inevitable death.